no, no, no! Ah! Help, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. But if I can get unstuck, we're going to check out a $10 million ultra house here on Kid Source. Hey everybody, it's Old Dad, back with Kid Source. Hey, today we're checking out a new map called $10 Million Ultra House. And here's the creator, that's their Twitter account. I've put links to all their stuff in the description. The creator is m 7 Mo Gamer, and the creator of the custom terrain is Red Penguin. You can see all that stuff right here on the signs when you start, and make sure you grab this key. Alright, so we've got the key from the little lobby area here. I walk out through the uh, doorway and I see some arrows pointing this way, so I think we're going to go this way. There's also some uh, gravel or cobblestone uh, in the grass here so that we kind of know, hey, this is a pathway. Since we're in creative, I'm just going to fly on over here and this is the laser gate. Now there's custom textures, custom, you know, pack that you download when you download this map. So, as you can see, I cannot go through the laser encrusted gate here and the lasers are shooting all the way up to the sky telling me that it's got to be some use of the uh, beacon so I go over here and drop my key into this hopper it's got a nice sign there that says key here and we expect that uh, well the key popped out over there but we expect that the lasers and there we go the lasers have turned green indicating to me that I may now safely pass through the dangerous laser gate and I'm gonna go ahead and lock it back so I don't have any pesky sales people or anything like that come through the gate and approach me at my 10 million dollar ultra house you know mansion that's what we call it around here is a mansion when somebody has a 10 million dollar ultra house but I think this is maybe a step above a mansion I mean obviously it's a big huge house but there's a lot of redstone in here there's a lot of cool stuff on the outside. It's an ultra house. It's an ultra house. So we're looking at the uh, fountain out front here. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna give you a look down at the inside. The water's kind of flowing there in a very uh, specific pattern. So that's really neat. Looks like the creator uh, paid attention to detail here. A lot of attention to detail. We're gonna go on out here. This looks like uh, this dock looks a little rotten out here. I don't know. You'd think with all that money. And I think that's done on purpose for design. But um, we're checking out the dock here. As you can see, we're out here on the ocean. Pier, dock, whatever you want to call it. Looks like we got a couple of uh, yachts out here, which is pretty nice. I think I may jump on board that yacht. Maybe go fishing for some marlin. Maybe catch some red snapper. I don't know. We'll have a fish fry. We'll have a big fish fry whenever I get back. So let's just take a look around on the yacht here. Uh, again, a lot of detail on this map. And uh, let's just fly around here and give you a good look. This looks like a real yacht. I mean, obviously somebody with a $10 million ultra house would probably have a yacht parked out back too at their own private pier. Now let's... Uh, oh, these, I thought those were stairs, but it's just decoration. Let's go push the old button here go inside and check out the cabins I'm gonna go straight up to the front here this looks like the bridge got some controls up here to control the yacht when you're out at sea and uh, then we're gonna go on down these little stairs right here looks like we've got some uh, living quarters this looks like maybe a galley or the kitchen you know uh, this looks like maybe the master bedroom suite in here uh, got some pretty nice sunken beds there. That looks like a king size bed to me. I don't know. Uh, got the laptop over here. There's buttons and switches around everywhere. You know, some of them do stuff that's quite apparent. Some of them may do hidden stuff that I don't know about or what the French call a certain I don't know what. And then I think some of the buttons probably don't do anything. So. I just try to push any buttons that I see, flip any switches I come by, and just see if I can see anything happen. If nothing happens, then I usually just kind of move on. Uh, I'm mainly just reviewing the map here, showing you what an awesome map it is. We're not really trying to solve any puzzles here. So, when you get on here, you're going to want to explore and check out all the redstone stuff for yourself. Because there's a lot of stuff, you know, involving redstone mechanisms and stuff that we're just going to gloss over here on the video. I'm really just trying to give you a good tour of the map and show you that it is well worth a download 
There's a lot of detail, a lot of awesome stuff, custom textures. The list goes on and on. So, we've looked at the pier, we've looked at the yachts. We're going to look around the yard a little bit now. Looks like there's a helicopter back there somewhere, so we're definitely going to have to check that out here in a little while. Uh, it's a nice compound. It's surrounded by fences, a lot of lighting. Maybe we'll get to take a look at it in the dark. Who knows? But right now, I'm just trying to find the front door. I don't know. It looks like maybe there's a side entrance over here. Or maybe this is the front. Who knows? I'm not really used to being in fancy houses. So maybe their front door's on the side. Maybe it's in the back. I, I don't know. I just don't know how it works. So as you can see, a pretty nice little redstone door right there when you come in the entrance. And just great decorations. These look like a, a lot of custom stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lock the door. Or Does that lock it? Yeah, I think it did lock it. So now nobody can sneak in here on me, you know. When you're rich like this and you have a $10 million ultra house, your friends will just stop by. You'll be down here, you know, in the lower level, maybe working out, hitting the old gym. Go upstairs and you'll have 10 people in the kitchen maybe making popcorn maybe in the living room watching some videos and eating that popcorn making a mess getting popcorn kernels everywhere you don't want that so you want to lock that front door well, that's a nice looking fireplace right there and again these custom uh paintings are really cool that just kind of sets it off and makes it look unique the custom textures all of it but the paintings really kind of caught my attention right away because it's not the typical paintings that you see in Minecraft, it's definitely some custom stuff. That's a nice looking sink right there. This whole kitchen looks nice. I mean, they spent a lot of time, the creator spent a lot of time working on this, just making sure that every little thing looks just perfect. This must be the refrigerator. Give me some ice, give me some ice. No, I guess the ice maker's probably broken right now. All right, let's go on and check out the rest of the house. Here we go, here we go. As you can see, lots of colors being used here. Lots of different rooms. You got like offices, living rooms, dens, dining rooms, a nice kitchen. I'm sure we're gonna run across a bathroom or two in here, bedrooms. You've got everything you could think of, you know? It's just like a real house. Yeah, here's a bathroom right here. So you got a sweet corner tub in this thing. Here's some buttons. Again, I don't really know if the buttons do anything. I, use, I usually just flip a few, push a few, flip a few levers, push a few buttons, whatever the case may be. Whenever I come across them, I don't see anything happening. So I'm going to move on. Oh, the toilet room. And I assume that would have flushed the toilet if there would have been a massive poo in there. But I didn't really see anything happen with that button either. So... There is a lot of redstone stuff on this map. If you look around, you're going to find a lot of stuff that when you push a button, it does do something. And it does something cool. Okay? There are a lot of little surprises in here. I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's a good one there. I push the button over there, the garage door comes up. And we got a race car sitting in here. I mean, look at this thing. Pretty awesome. I wish I had this thing so I could kind of cruise around my neighborhood here at my real house, IRL, you know and wave at everybody and then kind of rev up the engine and squall the tires up and down the road. Man, my neighbors would truly love me. And here's a hot tub. We're gonna jump in this hot tub and, oh, I think it might be a whirlpool though. Uh, this is kind of making me dizzy. We're gonna go ahead and get out. I thought it was a hot tub. Turns out it was a whirlpool, but still a sweet little build. You kind of got like a little courtyard back here a little private courtyard so you can enjoy the hot tub gotta love that you know when you're chilling in a hot tub you don't really want a lot of extra people you know walking by hey what are you doing i'm trying to relax in a hot tub you won't have that problem here at the 10 million dollar ultra house the hot tub completely private completely enclosed in a small courtyard all right let's go outside huh okay well, the door is apparently... Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought something was amiss, but I think it just takes a minute for that front door to open. That's all. Uh, and when you're pushing the button, if it doesn't open immediately, just wait a second. 
on all the redstone stuff really some of it is kind of delayed you know because it has to go through all the command blocks and the redstone mechanisms and do its thing so here's a beautiful shot of the helicopter on the helicopter pad with the sun setting in the background there that looks pretty nice and that is a really nice helicopter and i love the helicopter pad being kind of elevated up like that so that kind of no matter where you're at in the compound you can look over there and see if that chopper's there you'll always know you've got a way to escape when the going gets tough so we've landed on the patio here at the top floor I think this is probably the master bedroom it looks pretty awesome it's got a huge bed over there and just a lot of neat little well I think this switch is turned on the lights or something in here you guys can check it all out you're gonna discover tons of stuff that I didn't even look at because we're just running through here trying to give you a good look at the whole map you don't want to download a piece of junk right so that's why kid source is here that's what old dad's gonna do for you if it's a piece of junk folks I'm not making a video about it I only make videos about awesome maps because I know that's what you want to see you don't want to see a video of me saying this maps junk don't get it right you want to see the good maps that you should download and this is definitely one of them the 10 million dollar ultra house by creator m7 mo gamer and the terrain by red penguin is really and truly one of the best custom creation houses i have ever seen in minecraft here's a little hidden fire pit you can gather around that roast some marshmallows maybe sing some songs with your friends you know with your rich friends at your 10 million dollar ultra house whenever y'all are hanging out what is this a maybe a wine cellar or oh it looks like maybe an underground kind of grotto bathroom type deal you know where you can go and chill out and i don't even know what that is back there look you guys are going to have to discover some of this stuff for yourself. I'm not going to reveal all the secrets. Nobody wants me to do that. I'm just showing you this is awesome. You're going to come in here and find all the secrets and say, I bet old dad didn't know about this. Eh, you're probably right. Old dad probably didn't know about that when he made the video. But I'm going to keep playing this map for weeks to come because it is so awesome. Now this is the treehouse out back. And as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff up here too. So be sure and check out the treehouse. And that's all the time we have for this video today. Be sure and smash that like button if you like the video. And hey, be sure and subscribe to Kid Source channel if you haven't done that already. Become a part of the Kid Source Force. This map was built by creator M7 Mo Gamer. There is a link in the description, so go check him out. And there is also a link where you can download the map and play it for yourself. Thanks for watching our $10 million Ultra House video. We'll see you next time.